You can leave with me, man. Will, will you take care of my baby? Yeah, of course I will. You be a good boy, okay? I'll bring him home. He's kind of leaking at the mouth there. Let me see his, his chops. Well, I don't think he wants to agree with that. Look. Let me see. Uh, we need to take him onto the vet. Yeah, he's uh, he's got an infection or something. I don't have any. Let me look for a paper towel or something. He's dripping yellow something, some kind of pus. And uh, I'm sure my friends didn't sign up for this. Their dog is deathly ill. And we're at the Dalton Animal Care. I'm going to walk in and find out what the status is. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I'm on my way to pick up Faye and Mark and bring them to their uh, ride service. Their lawyer negotiated, negotiated a deal for them to get a ride back and forth on their visiting days, which are Monday and Wednesday. So I'm just a few minutes away from picking them up. Uh, their ride, they have to meet in a neutral location, I guess, which is Greater Works. And they want to go there anyways and take a shower before they get their ride and uh, just one of them things you know before they see their kids of course but uh all right and that's about five miles from where they are so that's quite a hike so I will uh we'll be back in a minute you know hopefully being live here with uh, with Faye and Mark so be back in a bit Boy, oh boy, the police are out in full force. Ticket time. Two to, th two to three other cars getting pulled over at the same time. Good morning, guys. How's it going? Good. Good. How you been, Mark? Good. What do you got there? Charger. Charger. Uh, I'd say. This is rat. The Tyler's food. Okay. Um. Now you're dropping uh, Shiloh off with yeah. Ben, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So you had ambitions on trying to get a shower in? Yeah, I'm gonna try. Okay. Well, time's running short. Come on, Shiloh. Let me show you something real quick. Come on. Give me. Now this was a gift for your kids. Yeah. I don't know if did you want to bring it? Yeah, you I'll take it to him. you said to wait. Oh. Now hold on. There's more stuff. Come here. Okay. You seem half asleep yet. Stretched out. I got you a notepad and a pen. Okay, thank you. And uh, here are some individual hygiene packs for you okay. guys. And, you know, one for the each of you. Okay. And here's that bug spray you guys have been needing. Okay. Now, I got a single deck of cards for the two of you to, okay. you know, share. Or, and here's one for the kids. Okay. All right. Now, inside that gift bag from Angela... Is some coloring books and some other markers, but okay. I got a couple extra packs. Okay. All right. I'll just leave in this box. Okay. And here are, uh, yeah, you need three more pens for the uh, three additional. There's three additional notepads, one for each okay. of the kit. Actually, I think there's four. There is. Yeah, there's four in there. Okay. So we'll get you four additional uh, notepads uh, okay. and pens and whatnot. But we can set this to the side. And uh, so where are you going to put your dog? Back. He's in the back right now. He's gonna stay here? No, he's in the back of the truck. Oh! He's not himself right now. Okay, well, I got uh, Ben an extra bag. Okay. You know, for dog food. Are you excited? Yes. When was the last just time? Tired. Three weeks ago. Three weeks to, to the day? Mm -hmm. Or was it the Monday? It was a Monday, I think. Okay. Yeah. So, 19 days. Mm hmm. All right, now in addition to that, here's what I want to do. Let me run this by you. Your ride's going to be here in an hour, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're, we're seven minutes from Greater Works. Mm -hmm. And if you, I'll wait outside when we get there. And if you can go in, you know, and get your shower, then everything is great because they're going to meet you there to pick you up and you'll be on your way. Mm -hmm. But if not, Angela had sent that money, like I was saying, and uh, I got you, because I don't know what you're going to end up wanting, and trying to order it online is going to be kind of a difficult thing to do, because you said you needed jeans and whatnot, so I went ahead and got you a 
Walmart gift card. Okay. So, obviously, get whatever you want, you know, what you feel is necessary. Since you haven't seen your kids in three weeks, if you want to get them a little present, there's a few things in that bag. You might want to look through it. You'll have plenty yeah. of time on the way. Yeah. Now, I know they're getting fed and whatnot, and I thought you guys, um, I don't know how your visits go. Normally, you know, you'll it's supervised, I would imagine. Yeah, it's supervised, but... I mean, could you all sit together and have lunch? Yeah. Okay. Well, I've got... I've got six lunches made up for you guys if you want to take them. I know they probably already eat and they're probably going to already have eaten by the time we get there or well by the time you get there because it's a it's a hike. Yeah. It's a stretch. I looked it up. It's it's a 100 miles southeast of Atlanta. Yeah. Well, we're supposed to be going somewhere today. I don't know where we're going, but she's so I Okay. Don't know. If we were going to the park, it's one thing, but I've been complaining about the park because the bathroom, you can't even use the bathroom. And Mark went in there last time and cleaned the bathroom so the girls could go in there and go to the bathroom, but that's not... I don't know what they had paint all over. It ruined a pair of Brooklyn shoes. She about cried. I was like, Brooklyn, we can replace your little shoes. Right, right. You know, so I don't know what she's doing. Well... He's... These have been everywhere all night long. Yeah. Well, you guys are under stress. The kids are under stress. They don't know what's going on. You guys are struggling to get them back. And once you can move across the, basically across the driveway there, obviously the place you're at now is a, a, a stepping stone. And uh, you get that other place fixed up, that's a multi-bedroom deal, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's... That's much better. And what'd you say, Mark, it was? Some plumbing? Yeah. Okay, and then the fuse box. All right, any progress? I haven't been over there in the last day. He's been getting on my nerves. But, uh, all right. Because, uh, you know, I guess what I'm getting at is if you wanted to get, uh, you know, just a few things, maybe a couple little treats for the kids, there's crayons in there. I got you those coloring markers. There's coloring books. Uh, this was Angela's idea. She sent, she sent, you know, the stuff. Mm -hmm. She thought it'd be cool for the kids. And there's two separate gift bags if you want to kind of split them up. There's a few different things. Okay. You'd have to look through it to find out what you, you know, exactly want. And I know you already got enough stuff, but, you know, I'll wait at Greater Works until your ride gets here. Oh, no, I can take it all in. It'll all fit in that bag. I just threw my shoes on top of it because it's convenient to carry them that way. Okay. I love them little bags, them little... The black ones? The pop-up ones that pop up or you can collapse them. I have two of them and I love them. I carry everything in them things. Laundry, they're easy to wipe out, everything. Nice. Well, after everything is said and done, you're going to get to see your kids. Yes. Get some smiles. Keep you motivated. And kind of go from there. Okay, guys, we're waiting on a, a phase ride here. Mr. Shiloh's not feeling so good today. Oh, and I'm afraid to leave him. How you doing, baby? You can leave with me, man. Will, will you take care of my baby? Yeah, of course I will. You be a good boy, you okay? I'll bring him home. I can bring him back tomorrow. He'll get all the uh, love and attention. there's something in the water that he's been I don't know well but he's got food he's got a can of food he's got water you got smart water today is that gonna make you smart he looks at me he's like he's kind of leaking at the mouth there let me see his his chops well I don't think he wants to agree with that look let me see uh we need to take him on to the vet yeah, he's uh, he's got an infection or something. I don't have any. Let me look for a paper towel or something. He's dripping yellow something, some kind of pus. Here we go. It's from his stomach. The stomach acid is the bottom of his stomach. Let me see, Shiloh. Oh. 
Here are some paper towels. Well, I'm not sure. I That kind of makes me a little apprehensive of wanting to bring them. And I'll tell you why. is because if he should have a turn for the worse, you know, I don't want... I don't want to feel responsible for, you know. I can go up here to the vet and have them call Miss Ruth and tell him he just got sick on me and, he, and see if she'll help me pay the bill. Well, it's up to you because time is yeah. growing shorter by the minute. She ain't never, this lady ain't never on time anyway. Well, yeah, but if you, you had just told me on the phone last night that if you're not here... How you doing, baby shy? What's wrong, little buddy? How long has this been going on, Mark? When he was hit by a car a couple weeks ago, like a month ago. Yeah, let's just take him to the vet. It's just gonna cost me. Well, let's go. I don't, I don't know it other than walking, baby. Just pull in right okay. there. Okay. I'm going uh, here and talk to this lady. Well, man, this is... I love... They're so nice. You can't be as... You can't be any closer to where you need to be. Yeah, this might be the best plan. You get a two-for-one. Get yeah, your dog fixed up. Okay. I'm going to turn around. All right. Oh, boy, man. You guys get it from all sides, don't you? Uh -huh. What was that? Landlords, theft on the street, sick animals, can't see the kids, court. I would, I would imagine that's enough to drive you a little crazy. All right, guys. When uh, you've heard the obvious puns of expect the unexpected and be careful what you wish for and that type of thing and uh i'm sure my friends didn't sign up for this their dog is deathly ill and we're at the dalton animal care i'm gonna walk in and find out what the status is their dog silo has been inadvertently or intentionally poisoned I don't think the intentional part if you if you if you're if you're a person like that then there's there's more issues and I know what to talk about but uh what a nice place how are you today young lady good morning how are you I'm living the dream <laughs> uh, been a rough morning <laughs> so, oh boy though hi the floor look wet it, it almost freaked me out I thought I was gonna Hey, I'm just here with my couple of friends. They brought their dog in that's pretty ill. And they said she, she's got to get a ride to go see her kids very soon. And uh, I guess I'm going to be the primary caretaker for the evening. Okay. Um, sure. I'm just parked outside. And, but I, is there uh, something about, she had told me just a minute ago, uh, Faye, that it was just going to be uh, some medication. And... Um, would that be oral or is it do are you doing an injection or where the, is it the still seeing the doctor right now so we're not sure okay do you want to go in the ring where they're at could i yeah give me just a second let me double it's check uh, it's rodriguez oh. um it is for um shallow yeah it's five or six so a puppy just yet yeah. you know would they are they uh, would they be draw blood to determine you know what type the effect possibly they were going to see what the doctor recommends okay the doctor man what an ordeal you guys have a beautiful spot here thank you this is very cool man i'm digging it yeah how long have you been in this location well the building itself was built in 1967 but not this okay we remodeled about three oh, years ago 1967 short after the civil war was when <laughs> I'm <laughs> the original building was built, but yeah, it was remodeled about three years. Ago. This is awesome. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Okay, sorry about that. They're, you're fine. They're in this room. Man, you guys are you got a busy operation. Uh 
Oh yeah. That's, that's like how you, you, you have a visitor. What do you think, Doc? Um, so I was telling him, he does seem very painful, like right when I'm painting his abdomen. Again, not sure if he's actually painful or just really angry with me touching him in general. No, would that be, yeah. would that be some bile coming from the liver? It's, um, it looks like he's, he is vomiting at, um, bile from the stomach. As, um, I don't know because vomiting and not eating could be a bunch of different things. So yeah, sure. it could have been something that he ate that could be affecting his liver. Okay. It could be something that he ate that's just messing his normal gut bacteria. It could it be roadkill, like a squirrel or a rabbit yes. or something? Yeah, something okay. like that. All right. Um, but there, there's so many things that can cause it. And unless we did a bunch of testing, like x-rays, blood work, there's not really a good way to know. Are you going to do blood work? Um, I can offer it. Um, but otherwise, if we're financially constrained, I'd rather focus my efforts on treatments. The, the immediate health. Yeah, right. yeah. Okay. Um, so we can give him something for nausea, something to prevent the vomiting. Um, some fluids to kind of rehydrate him. If he ate something else, it kind of also helps flush it out of his system, possibly. Um, some probiotics and antibiotics for his gut. Um, okay. If it was something infectious. Because they said that, you know, Faye and Mark here said that she are, she, I, I, I've done this 20 times, that he hasn't been drinking much, so they suspect some dehydration as well. And I concocted an, ele an electrolyte mix just okay. with you know but he wasn't having it but yet in the meantime it's been foaming at the mouth basically with with the green that yellow bile, bile that yellow bile mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know yeah so if we give him some fluids like i said it'll go a little bit faster into his body um it'll be like right under his his skin it'll look like a little hump on his back and his body will slowly absorb that and he can go home with that yeah yeah okay yeah we will do that here and then he'll just have that little hump and it'll over the next few hours he, sh he should absorb it into his, his system mm -hmm. um and we'll get him some medicines for everything else okay, okay. all right all right well let me tell you the role i'm playing in this i'm going to be the caretaker for the evening yeah. okay and i'm going to be available on a quick phone call um uh, and they have a serious appointment they need to get to and you can take your time if it's two hours four hours whatever you got to do this dog needs to live yeah it won't if we we're not going to be it shouldn't take that many hours like the fluids should just be a few minutes okay um and then the medicine will get it ready for you here and then you can take that with you as okay well. so is there going to be any injections involved prior to yeah we can do an injection here but everything else is going to be Pills to give out. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Now that would almost have to be force fed. No, he, he's normally pretty good about taking it. Just put it in something like I wrap it up in his um, treat. But if he's not eating his treat, then yeah. yeah. Usually, I, if they're not taking their treats, you kind of have to put it in their mouth and hold it. Hold or draw, kind of like the muzzle thing. Yeah. So to speak. They, and then sometimes you can tickle their throat until they swallow it. Wow. Yeah okay all right good. it's uh i just want to say you guys are doing a stand-up job at this is at the 11th hour you know on a moment's notice and we definitely appreciate your help you know what an operation and you have a beautiful spot here uh -huh. so all right then i'm just a phone call away okay you know i brawl you know brawl <laughs> i i uh <laughs> prowls the area so okay. I, i'm always in town okay so well hopefully this will help him out and if it's not getting any better then we can always talk at, um and see what else we need to do for him but okay. like i said i i, I don't want to you know push us and doing all like yes i would love to have x-rays and blood work and all sure that sure but, focus on maybe doing the treatments all right well let's get to plan b okay. let's finish plan a before we get to b okay okay yeah. all righty give us a minute we can take this off of him just for a minute just while we're uh, just leave. uh maybe not. <laughs> maybe not maybe not i thought he was a little more chill well he's probably a little scared as to everything that's going on right now okay give yeah. us one moment and we'll be right back all right fantastic that's amazing guys All right, I'll tell you what, <laughs> I'll go back to the car and, uh, you know, I will wait, pick up Shiloh, he'll get 100% care from me, 
in addition, I'll give them meds and the whole deal, and he'll have a little friend to play with and snuggle and hang out, you know, with, with my buddy Bruno. It had, uh, yeah, well, it's yeah. nothing you gave him. You no, know. no, 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 I'm just trying to, like... You, you, can't, you can't imagine, you can't keep your eyes on him 24 hours. It's very possible he ate a dead rabbit or a squirrel or something out in the yard or, you know, it's, it's just, that's just, it happens, you know. So this is a stepping stone and you've got many to deal with. So get your mind straight. You're going to see your kids. It's going to be a great day. It's time to smile. Uh, I think the, the IV thing is my best thing. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. I didn't know it just went on their back like that. that, that I, I, yeah, I don't know that either. That's pretty well. Absolutely. It's our secret. We've been talking. <laughs> we, we've been talking at full volume the whole time. Now is the time to be quiet. You know, the reason why I wanted to be able to show the kids, look, we take care of him. Hey. <laughs> take his off, try. Yeah, just take his off. I'll tell you what, some people take better care of their animals. Yeah, because now he's not amongst strangers. So. Okay, man. Uh -oh, I just need an updated weight. I don't know if you guys want to just, the scale is right that, there. 47 pounds. 47 pounds? I'm just guessing. I, I have no idea. <laughs> Will you walk or? Yeah, you walk. Come on, come on, Shai Shai. Come on. Come on. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. It is like right here. He doesn't have to go far. Come on, come on. Come on. I'm gonna be outside. Oh, so good. keep an eye on our stuff. Oh yeah, I'm not. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey. Positive right. thoughts. Positive thoughts. Seven point six kilos. Seven point six pounds. That's what I said. <laughs> oh, I'm only teasing you. <laughs> All right. Hey man, stand up job for you guys. Thank you. I appreciate it 100%. Thank you. Thank you. I'm lost. Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh, out? Then, yeah. Uh, follow the exit. The follow the exit, sorry. I can't go to the rock. We only got one way. They're good enough for me? <laughs> follow the exit, sorry. There you go. Oh, boy. Oh, man, that's crazy. You guys were awesome, man. You did a circle. Yeah, I, I took the full tour. What time do you close? Six o'clock. Six. Okay. Eight o'clock next week. Yeah, we start at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock next week. What's your name, young man? My name is Dr. Rosales. Juan. Dr. Rosales. Mm -hmm. Do you have a driver's license? <laughs> I sure do. And he has a doctor's license too. <laughs> yeah. What's up? <laughs> you should. You should be in the NFL. <laughs> I used to play basketball in college. Uh, Michigan, though. I went to Michigan State. Did you? Go, no, I, I, no, I like the Spartans. I live 10 minutes from, from, you know, from the stadium. I actually worked on the expansion. East Lansing? Yeah. I just graduated from there in May. Nice. Well, they got a fantastic, you know, veterinarian school and, you know, sure. they're down with it. They got skills. Yeah. So. They're, they're good at basketball, not so good at football anymore. Right, right. But what are your skills? I, Level 1 to 10. <laughs> Let's hear it. In, in, in what? Like part of my life, so. saving animals from saving say animals saving from animals a, a solid nine. Solid nine. I'm working to get to that ten soon. All right. Yeah. All right. With help, though, I need my staff to help me. Out. Of course you do. My team. These uh, fine young ladies are taking care of the appointments and whatnot. Yeah, and I got my senior clinicians. I got my technicians. I got my assistants. Everybody super. All right, I got a question for you. What's up? I have a beloved pet of my good friend here that is dying, so why don't you get to do something and get back there and help him out? I would need to look at some records and see what yeah. I can do. But I'm, I'm only sure, teasing you. I'm sure you're already taken care of. <laughs> no, I'm only teasing you. I think we're really mad on you. Yeah, that's what I do. So. All right, guys. Hey, I got your card. We are also having a raffle going on. I saw that on the grill. I might have to. Five bucks for that big daddy grill? Man, that could feed a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Five bucks. Do you take a like debit and credit card? You do. Yes, sir. All right. How many entrants are allowed? So you can do as many as you like to. So it's one raffle for five dollars, or you can do five tickets for twenty dollars. But you can do as many as you like. Well, how many? Uh, how many? What is it? Just however many entrants enter. <laughs> you know. I mean, is there a limit? Like five hundred people. You know. It's just however many. However many get in? Yeah. Okay. 
Are those the entrance? Mm -hmm. So you have competition. If you enter. What if I take the jar and just put mine in there? <laughs> you could. <laughs> it wouldn't be fair. I'll tell you what. So you'll be grilling with Cat Conscious. You're welcome. Well, yeah, with, uh, with the the you wouldn't be really happy as you That's should. That's fair. Good point. You know what? And it probably wouldn't work the first day. It probably wouldn't. <laughs> right, I'll tell you what. When I come back to get our beloved okay. pet, then uh, I'll uh, be waiting. I got my <laughs> eyes on you. I'll be, uh, I'll be watching. <laughs> so, cool. What is this? We're gonna be on TV. What is it? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, no, I'll just give you guys a card. I help my friends here. They're struggling a little bit, so. That's sweet. Yeah. That's sweet. Here you go. Here's Thanks. one of my. Oh, listen. I, everyone always asks me, what do you watch on TV? I don't. I watch you. Oh, thank so. you. <laughs> thank you. No, I have TV anyway. And here's one for the, the previous NBA player, doctor oh, that just yes. walked by. Dr. Thank Rosales. you. Yeah. Los Alice? Rosales. Rosales. Handsome young man. Hey, 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 somebody messaged me from my graduating class who was like, who is he? I had two people. Uh -huh. I said, listen, I can't say much, you know. Strapping young uh, man on the way up. So what do you typically do? I mean, well, what's on there? Just go check it out. I got 600 something videos of me just helping really? homeless. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I just started last year. Right here in Dalton? Yeah. Local Dalton, Chatsworth. Like yeah. around. Okay. Oh, yeah, right down here at Providence and, and, and uh, really? Yeah, uh, Greater Works. Yeah. Sweet. All over the place. Uh, Chattanooga did just stuff in Atlanta. Hey, I know somebody who, who might benefit from that. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. You got one of my cards. Yes, I and do. It, oh, I was going to say, as I was going to show you mine, but it's not <laughs> mine, it's yours. At the bottom of my card, there's my email address. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Just shoot me an email. Okay. And I just profile, you know, things I do on it, you know, pretty much daily to try to help homeless people or, you know, nice. people that are struggling. Yeah. And unfortunately, we do have a lot of people in this area that come in here with us, so we'll definitely keep this in mind. Oh, they're, no they're, it's, it's just growing. It's sad. It's, yeah. it, it really is. But, uh, so this thing right here. That's yeah, and then at the top is the name of my channel. I'm about to take a picture. What is it? This, did you? Uh, I got one. I'm going to take a okay. picture. It's in it to, yeah. to Share it with all your friends. Yeah. You know, hit that like button and, you know, sure. subscribe. And, I yeah. think there's a lot more people in this area that are living in cars than people realize. Mm -hmm. yeah, have, you, um, um, have you tried, like, doing TikToks or anything like that? What is it? TikToks. Well, I, I, I do have a Facebook, okay. which is on there, which is the same as the YouTube channel, What If This Was You. Oh, you're on Facebook, too. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I just post the videos. Um, I'm just a single guy operation here. I don't have a video editor. I'm learning, on, you know, I'm learning everything as I go. But yeah. um, you know what? If you guys start watching the videos, going back to last August, you're going to see uh, probably a lot of people that you know. Or that you have seen before, have seen. yeah. Either walking down the street or up here at Providence when you're, you know, or you know when you're going home or coming in or, mm -hmm. you know, like I said, I, I think it's probably closer to 700 videos. Oh, wow. Yeah, I got a couple of, you know, it was. Different length, I'm okay. Um, no, but uh, my field has a coworker who currently is living in tent. Yeah. Really. Yes, and he. Where at? Um, you know when you're going towards the landfill, um, like on Old Dixie, highway on Old Dixie? You're talking, uh, just like, close to her. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he works with him, and he's currently, like, he's trying to get a car, but he doesn't have his license. Okay. No, I know the drill. I mean, people, they... Get their wallet stolen. They yeah. lose their birth certificate. They don't have ID. They can't get a job because they don't have ID. Right. A social security card, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Can't drive because it, their car's broke yeah. down or impounded. Yeah. You know, living in a tent in the woods, got to walk everywhere. Can't bathe. Yep. Can't shower. Hard to eat. Yep. You know, it's so it's a vicious cycle. Kind of goes back and forth to the pilot right there. Yeah. And you know, that's what. He oh, he's way do. down by. He's yeah. on. He's on the on the south bypass. Yes. Yeah, okay, I know where that is. Yeah, I know where that is. He works right there. It's called VersaCourt is where they work. Okay. And he's been trying to help him out, but, you know, it's hard on us to try to... Okay, so wait, that's where your 
Boyfriend. My fiance. Yeah. Your fiance. He works at Versa Court, and he's trying to help the homeless guy that lives in that area. He his, he works there too. He works at the Versa Court. Okay, so okay, so he, he okay, fantastic. He just has nowhere. He was in like an abusive situation. And sure. There's kids involved, so that's he doesn't want to call the police, and it's a whole. Okay. Whole thing. Oh, I've seen a, I've seen a lot. I'll tell you what. Have you and your husband get together, contact me on my email, and I'll see what I can do to help the guy out. Yeah, I've just sent it to him. I'll let yeah. you tell him because Absolutely. He's, he's already been to Providence, kind of, you know, Warren his welcome there and, and all the other places around here. Sure. And, um, Providence, from his location here, that's yeah. 10 miles. And he doesn't have a, t a place, you know, to and from. Like, he doesn't have a Right. So, right. poor thing. So, basically, he's kind of living close to where he can just walk to work. Essentially, yeah. yes, and yeah. that's not good because yeah. a lot of people yeah. that own property over there, they shoot now ask questions later. Like, yes, it's know. there's a big ban on the homeless. It, it's a mess. It's a so, mess. Alexis, it's a pleasure to yeah, meet you. My name is Daryl. Daryl. I forgot to tell you guys that. So, <laughs> you know, just so you know. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, you got one of my cards. Yes, you know. I do. I Save do. it. You should get it uh, laminated, hanging on the wall. Absolutely. Yeah. But yeah. Like, no, I'm serious. That would be very um, beneficial around here. Okay. Like, we have people. Somebody was in here laying down the other day. I mean. Oh yeah. yeah. They'll hang out just wherever until they get kicked out. Yeah. 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 Well, that's we the deal. Hearts, clearly. I mean, we yeah. wouldn't be in field if we didn't. Oh, for sure. You know? For sure. Okay. So, well, you guys get a hold of me. Yeah, you know, absolutely. hit my email, yeah. and I'll I'll see what I can do. Okay. That's only so that's actually pretty close to my house. That's only 15 minutes. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. Good. 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 Yeah. I have a question. Sure. For you. What happens <laughs> when the people are homeless? I know somebody that's living in a park, but they have a child, and they're afraid that the child will be taken away from them. Yeah. It will. Yeah. If they, if people find out. So in cases like that, what do you do? Well, it depends on their support structure. They probably don't have much family that's helping them because if they did, they probably would have went there. Okay. Right. So and she's working at a restaurant now. The restaurant is letting the kid come in, so you know. Okay. While she's there, but they, their hands are kind of tied too because they're afraid to do much because they're afraid the kid will be taken away. Well, that would be every parent's worst nightmare. That is first and foremost. Yeah. You know, that's how I had met Faye and Mark and, you know, this these guys. I've only known them maybe a month, you is know. Is there somewhere she could reach out? Like if she tries greater works or There is or Salvation or? Army. Salvation Army helps single women with children, and they have, like, pretty much immediate housing when it's available. Okay. The Salvation Army, right on Thornton Avenue. Okay. That would be the best bet for now. Okay. Otherwise, it'd be, quote unquote, a battered woman's shelter might be the best option. Yeah. Does the car work? Is it functional? Yes. Okay. Yes. It is functional. Okay. And they're staying in different spots every so often just to not wear out their welcome. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it a hundred times. Yeah. Which is freaking sad. Okay. I mean, she's a good worker. Okay. She's just my. Uh, she's in a bind. Yeah, she you is. know. She is. All she needs she is a leg up. I don't think yeah. she has family here, so. Okay. But I'm gonna tell um, my daughter-in-law works with her. I'll okay. Her to talk to her about salvation. Okay. Well, in addition to that, if you have any more questions, my email address is at the bottom of the card. Okay. Okay. And uh, I answer all my emails. Okay. And it's just, you know, I'm a single type deal. I, I don't have any help. I feel you know, like I besides have the people who watch. There was so many people that live in cars, but there's a lot. Of there's a lot. I've met, I've met dozens of people that who stay in their cars. Yeah. And they you know. move around. Yeah. So they find somewhere safe and stay there. Yeah. I guess. But the cars are working. They're just. They don't have to go. Well, in addition to that, they got to scrounge up a couple of bucks for gas to get from point A to point yeah. B, just to not wear out their welcome and be recognized and then be questioned yeah. by the police and with expired plates, probably no insurance. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's a, it's a, it's a tangled web that they that they weave. And she's yeah. working. She works at the restaurant. And makes pretty good, but I mean, rent's like for. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous yeah. you know that's why the tent is the best option because you know I remember you know a two bedroom apartments 400 bucks yes. now it's 12 yes you know if you can find one, if you can find one. yeah it's like yeah that cheap yeah. right that has running water yeah. and I mean yeah. they're not I mean 
you know, by the time they pay for the necessities, they don't have money for rent. If it's a single person, a single person is. Okay. But anyway, all right. Well, I want to. Okay. What was your name, young lady? Lanita. Lanita. My name is Daryl. Nice it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Just I want to check out your information. Yeah. Check it out. You got to get going, don't you? You got your appointment. She ain't yet called me. She's gonna call me. She knows that where I'm at. But I thought you were supposed to be there at eleven. She's on. It's her only thirty way. seconds from here. Okay. Yeah, she's on her. She's on on the. Okay. So she may come here to pick me well, up. Well, she's gonna. No, call she won't come here. Oh, okay. She they have a set spot, but it's oh, only okay. it's at Providence. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's yeah. okay. Thirty seconds. Yeah. Yeah. She she got gotcha. you. She's All done right. me wrong, so I don't even. Okay. All right. Uh, I need to give you my phone number so you can call me about the dog. Hey, I'll, I'll you, um. Let me write it on the back of my card. Yes, that'd be good. Don't tell anybody. I won't. It's a big secret. Okay. Only for professionals. <laughs> and I already wrote it down around. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking ahead, which isn't too popular. All right. Once again, my name is Daryl. Okay. Yeah, just give me a shout. Okay. And it would be from the number on the card, uh, on the caller ID. Yes. Let me make sure that our number is on there. Where is it? Oh, it's not even on here. This card is not on. Let me write it on the back. We can text too. So if we don't. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, it is my cell. So okay. battery's fully charged. Okay. Matter of fact, it's in the car. Okay. Uh, hopefully still. No, but, uh, All righty. Fantastic. Well, that'd be easy to see. Yep. Thank you. All right. You guys rock. Thank you. I'll be back. I'm gonna get me a ticket for the for this Big Daddy Grill. And if you don't win the grill, you win the two hundred dollar worth of hair products. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll give those out. Yeah, we go. And they'll be styling a profile. And, exactly. Uh, all right. It includes a free haircut too. <gasps> so. It's a, I do it myself, as you can probably see. <laughs> yeah. I saved the twelve bucks at the sport clips. <laughs> all right, ladies, have a good one. All right, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Man, that was friggin' awesome. What a cool staff. Oh, it's raining. Of course. Yeah, it's supposed to pour. What a mess. What'd you find out? Probably gonna be a while, eh? No, he's about to get uh, injection and, and, and... Good. The injection's gonna help most. Yeah. But, uh, they want you... She wants me to come in? Yeah. I just talked to her. Uh, well, not, all right. Well. Are you familiar with the old record albums? Yeah. The RCA? Remember how that dog had the big cone over its head? Yeah. No, you don't. I don't remember that. Well, that's what that dog looks like. <laughs> Okay, I couldn't resist talking to you guys again. <laughs> no, my uh, Mark here says that Faye was requesting me, and I was like, I just talked to her 10 seconds ago, and he's like, I don't know. Um, Which is the owner of the dog? Oh. Well, they both are. Yummy. I don't know. I'll tell you what, I'll just go back to the car. You he, want to, if he, you want to go back there to the ring. All right, let's go. What room number? Four. Four. Maybe. <laughs> Let me go check. You were in room six. I'm sorry, this is too close. Six. Oh. Yeah. Just knock? Yeah. Hello? Come in. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're good. Come in. You want me to turn it? Yeah, so I can see it. It should go, so. Sorry, that three and a half, four and a half. So, so seven and a half. Yeah. You do five, great. If not, 400 minimum. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. No tears, young lady. This is good. This is good news. Are you an assistant or, or are you a veterinarian or in training? I'm an assistant. Yeah. Okay. So. She's, she's seen Shiloh since the first time we brought him in. Okay. I know. I see why you put the muzzle on him. Well, he's. I can tell he doesn't feel good because last time when he was here without you guys, when he went on his little uh, adventure, adventure, he was 
like lunging at us. He's really scared. So. Well, he's basically still a puppy. Yeah, I don't blame him. Yeah. I really don't. I have reactive dogs myself. I know. I'm just making sure that's not super tight. How do you find a vein through all that hair? Oh, we don't. Um, on these. Oh, that's where the lump comes into play. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how long of a process is this? Um, it doesn't take long if you can see the flow. It's yeah, it's fast. it's it's going pretty. Yeah, it's 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 not even dripping. It's just a constant flow. Yeah, that's why I put right. it up so high. It just flows really quick. Yeah, you were at 450 milliliters already. Mm -hmm. Is that just normal saline? Uh, yeah, normal salt. So 0 0.9 sodium chloride. Yeah. Well, I should say 0 0.9. And then we're going to the seven and a half. You're gonna break out some uh, uh, banana bag with <laughs> massive electrolytes? No, we. I don't think we really do that in vet med. Okay. I know. Well, now if you were to let him go, he would just wiggle out of that, wouldn't you? Yeah, and I don't want him to take this out. No, of course not. Really good. So basically, that's a. A, a, a dermal transfer it just you know you're putting it right below the skin and it just absorbs into the body fantastic so no uh, no vein necessary yep. now it's really easy did he did he get a shot with the uh you know high dose antibiotic um we are doing pills actually for okay that oral and i think we'll take those for a couple days would it be okay if i had one <laughs> Probably not. Probably not the same dose. You need a smile. <laughs> At least. Yeah, man. Hey, we're here. What else could you possibly ask for? We're making we're making things happen. You know. It's a long road, but baby steps, one step at a time. That's all you can do. Okay, rock on. All right. So, what do you think? Maybe another hour here in the location? No, I think we're. We're almost done. Oh, Get really? Medications up and then this. Okay, so you're going to, it'll have some uh, bring home prescriptions. Yeah. Okay, not a problem. He'll be in good hands. He won't bite me until I. Try to pill him? <laughs> you, yeah, well then, that's cool. Don't worry, I got marks all over. I get bit all the time. I got I got I got a squirrel problem at the house. They attack me all the time. Know. They attack you. Yeah, they're a mess. They okay. they they bring down my trees and everything else. Thousands of them piled in the in the trees beside it, and they jump all on one branch and tip my trees over. Yeah, that's. No, I'm serious. I no, I believe you because they come up um, on my trees and they shake down acorns and they almost hit me. Yeah. They're mean. They're deadly. So you gotta be careful. Them squirrels are a mess. It's okay, Shiloh. She ain't called yet, so she's not here. Okay. Do you know what? Do you know? Look at that. It looks like a baseball in there. Mm -hmm. You got more skin. You're good. <laughs> you got more skin. Well, it, it it helps that they're younger in a sense because they have more skin to grow into. Yeah. You know what I mean? Loose skin. So is that kind of biotics? This is going to be the anti-nausea injection. Okay. So this will start working within like an hour Okay. Um, to keep him from vomiting and it's going to last him the whole day. So he should not vomit with this, but if he does still vomit, then that's also not a really good sign. Okay. Okay. So the, this is the anti-nausea injection. So the anti-nausea pills, you can start them tomorrow. Okay. Now, are you going to give him a antibiotic shot? No. Or just the pill? Just the pills. Okay. Yeah. So you don't technically even know if it's an infection that would require an antibiotic just at this point. The other thing I, I do like to do antibiotics for is he is having a little bit of blood in his stool. Okay. So that means there is a defect in the intestinal wall, whether that be because of some infectious causes, it could be intestinal parasites. There is some defect there and I don't want more bacteria to kind of get across that okay. um, into his bloodstream. And, uh, so that's another reason for, and I don't, yeah, I don't know if it's infectious. So we're kind of So the shot you have in your hand now is for yeah. nausea. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. okay. Want to get it's that okay. down? We're almost to the seven and a half. It's okay. You want to wait? I'll wait. Okay. I'll wait a few minutes. I don't want to. His get bubble it. has a little bit more space. Okay. Now we can move it. Mm. Right about his neck. Do you think? Yeah, I'll see that. Do you see this, you know, often? It's okay. Unfortunately, it's okay. yes. Yeah. Mostly because 
ev- like I said, everything causes vomiting and diarrhea. Sure. Um, well, I have that constantly myself, so yeah, I'm used to it. <laughs> I'm okay. So yes, I do see it pretty commonly. Ready? You okay. Get out. Yeah, it'll do that. Yeah, it's just a. That'll take a second. It's probably absorbing faster than it is leaking for sure because at the, the, the you know if you notice the other day, Faye, they somebody had mentioned it's like your dog's losing weight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think that was uh. I can't keep him fat. As hard as I try, that dog eats all day long. <laughs> Every time yeah. I stop, he gets his food bowl and, and his water. And if he doesn't have some for you, he's going to go find a squirrel. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're just basically minutes away from, uh, you know. Mm-hmm. So just uh, what's your recommendation for, like, after we leave here? Just comfortable place to lay down and chill? Yep. Offer any fluids? Uh, yes, uh, you can leave water out for him to to, to drink, um, and I'm, we're going to get you a couple cans of some GI food, like the good stuff. Yes, and this is like easy to digest. This okay. Is like for any dog that's having GI signs, like put them on this food. All right. Uh, we don't want like really fatty foods or anything like that because sure. that can make it worse. Right. So, um, um, may I ask who this is? Well, fantastic. Okay, can you call me back in like 15, 20 minutes? Thank you. Okay, I'll tell you what. Um, if he's going to be basically ready for discharge with some carry home meds, and there'll be like a, a care plan type thing, you know. All the medications will have a label on on every individual one okay. on how to give, yeah, and how often. All right. But yeah, should be just a few minutes. Okay. Then I'll leave you guys to your business. Good there. Got a couple lumps. That one's almost gone already. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's going to be a big change. I have the cat right here. That's a full, that's a, you know, that's a leader, man. Hey. You know. I think you just moved it with your leg, baby. Yeah. Yeah, he'll be good. I bet you I'll go home every day with animal hair all over again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. okay, this one's going to burn a little bit. Sorry, it's okay. really not going to like it. Yeah. Be all right. Hold on. Yeah. Ready? Hold on, turn. Yeah, I know. Okay. All right. Oh no, but it's okay. You gotta have it. Gotta have it. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boy. Hey, I'll tell you what. By him getting angry, is it? You'd almost think it's a good sign. You know, be, being the fa- you know alert and you know yeah. saying, hey, I, I don't like this. You know. He's gonna be all right. You're all right, all right man. We'll get those medicines. All right. We'll be good to go. Then we'll be waiting. Thank you very much. I'll be right outside. Fantastic. All right, guys. I'm going to vacate. And, uh, okay. <laughs> she's like, I'm out of here, too. <laughs> hey, I wanted to go out this door because I know where I'm going. Yeah, I'm okay. All right, guys, I'm just outside. All right. So. Okay. Hey, have the faith. You need to put the smiles on. You can take care of that call. It sounded like it was important. success so far all right fingers crossed all right Bye. oh it's raining well they called for it they said it was gonna rain and hey, my windows down but that's cool all right guys I'm gonna shut down cameras getting hot okay this we gotta give him a day out of this and oh it's like an injection and now it goes on in his food, I think. The, uh, it's the, uh, yeah, it goes on his food. Big, is that the food? Yeah. Okay. All right, let, well, let, let's get over to where you need to be. And we'll just park there and you can tell me all about it. Or, you know, if there's a care plan involved, you know, I can easily figure that out. You call me later on, you know. Yeah, of course. Well, guys, I must say. <laughs> This has been a uh, a pretty active day. Given the conditions, you know, obviously you can tell it's raining like a dog. But uh, 
just now dropped off Faye and Mark with their transportation to see their children. I don't know, just a quick 250 miles away. Which will take them hours with the weather conditions. But, that's the deal. And uh, in the meantime, their dog was approaching death. And uh, <laughs> Shiloh, and he is with me. I'm going to take good care of this young fella. I love dogs. But, uh, all right. More to come. There's a bunch of meds in a bag here I'm supposed to administer overnight. And they won't be back till very late. For sure. But, uh, all right. I just wanted to point that out. And uh, send me some good lucks. You know, could use it. All right, guys. <laughs> Uh, well, until tomorrow, because it, it doesn't stop. It's always, it's a grind, man. It's a grind, day to day. That's what I'm here for. You know, I'm willing to, willing to do, uh, you know, maybe what others won't. So, thanks to your help, of course. You know, it, it's amazing, man. It's amazing. People helping people, that's the way it should be. Okay. Oh, got to shut down and digest. So, see you in a bit. All right, guys. We just got home. We got to negotiate a plan for Mr. Shy. And, uh, hi, babies. How you doing, buddy? Okay. We're going to make a little bed. You're going to be my guest for the evening. And we've got some uh, medication for you. How's that sound? Okay. Well, you won't get wet sitting here. Let me figure something out here, and I'll be right back. I got a dog and a cat to deal with. So, I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gents. I'm going to have to talk a little louder to get over the rain. But uh, my friend Lauren in New Jersey had sent me uh, five of these buggies oh, eight, eight, nine months ago. Gave out four of them. She said, you have to keep one. And I'm glad I did. Because I made up a little bed here for uh, Mr. Silo, which is in the back seat of my car. Or I should say the, the trunk. So we're going to get Silo out of the car. We just got back from the vet. I just got to dodge this monsoon. I'm going to pick him up, carry him, set him in his buggy. Come on, Shy. Come here, babies. Come here. Let's go, sweetie. Okay, come on. How you doing, sweetheart? This looks perfect. All right. I'm going to get your medication for the night. Your mom and papa are out of town. But uh, I'm going to take care of you. All right, so make yourself comfortable. Be back in a minute, guys.